Hey, this is Steve, and today in the garage, I ran across Dave's incredible 1963 Plymouth Sport Fury that he purchased new. And this is just an amazing car, and there's a little, little something special under the hood. But uh, uh, tell us about this car. Well, uh, I bought it because I wanted to buy the baddest car you could buy in 1963. To be honest with you, I had a little degas car with small block Chevy and I got beat by a couple of 409s and this was the car to buy to, to beat it. So I sold my, my, my 34 Ford, my gasser and my 56 Chevy and paid down and bought this car. Wow. And uh, uh, the first night I, I picked my wife up, came home, picked up two buddies, went out to Rio Linda to find the baddest car out there. And it got away from me. I was used to driving a, you know, a 250 or 300 horsepower car, and these things make about 500. And got away from me uh, with 17 miles on it. I hit a telephone pole, tore the whole front end off. I drove the engine into the firewall. Ouch! <laughs> yeah, ouch, yeah. <laughs> and my wife was pregnant, and I had to call her and tell her, well, I just wrecked our brand new car. Oh my and, God! <laughs> oh my God! So, yeah. So anyway, uh, after that, it went into the shop and I realized that the street tires that it came with and that kind of thing were just not going to suffice. So I put lower gears in it and set of slicks on it while it was still in being repaired. Uh -huh. And to this day, the car's never had street tires on the back of it wow. since, since that 17 miles. So uh, what is lurking under the hood of this That's car? A, it's a, uh, well, they make about 500 horsepower. It's a 426 maximum performance wedge. And they advertise them at 425, but they're, they're, lots have been on dynos that pull a good steady 500. They're, they're quite a bit over that. And it's a manual transmission? Yes, yeah, three speed uh, manual transmission. Uh, yeah. What ratio did you change your end to? I put 411s in it. Oh. And uh, it had 391s, and I, of course I intended on racing it. And, and then after I got it out of the body shop, I went to the track at Vaca Valley Raceway, and I ran 1271, 112 with that. 1271, yeah. that's and 112, <laughs> big top end, you know. Yeah, that's it, amazing. It, yeah, and it really, wow. the car's always been fast. Yeah, <laughs> this thing's a beast. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, yeah it looks really wicked in yeah. this uh, black paint scheme, too. It's just, uh, it just looks like it's all business. Yeah. Yeah, and another kind of interesting story about it is they come with exhaust headers and cutouts. It gives them 90 horsepower when you uncork them all from the factory. And uh, the car and I got in trouble with the courts one time, and the judge ordered that the caps, the bolts for the caps, be welded. So I, <laughs> so, so I couldn't open the caps on the, uh, the on the street. And of course, as soon as I got it home, I got the grind. You know, after I got it signed off. I got under there and ground the welds off, and but I've left a lot of that, the, the weld on there, just you know because it's part of the car's history. Part of the car's history and its provenance. I mean, that's that's really a wise thing to do. Yeah. That you maintain the, the historical aspect of this car. I'm just I just just love it, and um, uh, this must have been fairly expensive when it was new, yeah, right? These aren't cheap. Thirty four hundred and something. I think we paid for it. Yeah, that's yeah. a good. That's that's a pretty pricey car. The it engine. A, yes, absolutely. We paid five hundred and ninety, if I remember right, for the Max Wedge package, which is a little bigger brakes and and all the stuff that goes with the Max Wedge. They're they're kind of all the engine compartment, all of that is all different than a regular car. Brake lines, everything is all different. Yeah. Well, uh, let's take a look under the hood. What do you yeah. think? Yep. But what you do, you go down to the dealership, and they got a little pamphlet-like thing with maybe four or five pages, and you just pick out a few options. Mm -hmm. Like this one, I wanted carpet, and I wanted the deluxe radio, yeah. and like that. And you get Sports Fury or the cheaper model. But you, but there's very, very little option. No power steering, because they, uh, well, they didn't want any anything yeah. coming off the engine. Right. And the engine doesn't make any vacuum, so you can't have power brakes. Right, you know? right. So you can't get anything you really can't get any kind of options. Yeah. Of course, no air or anything like that. Do you know, I mean, have you done the research to know how many Sport Fury Max Wedge cars were produced? Yeah, uh, I know, I tell you the truth, I can't remember. All I know, on this particular one, there's six of these made, mm. just like this one. Oh, okay. Uh, and I think, you know, I think it's like mm, quite a few, maybe 500, something like that, Sport Furies. 
Uh -huh. um, there's a guy that, that did a whole research on this. In fact, this is in a couple of different registries, you know, uh -huh. and I think that's what it was. But I know for a fact that there was only six of these, like this particular one made. Uh -huh. And I don't know if there's any of the rest, any of the other ones even in existence. I don't know. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen one. This is no, so much fun. I'm, it's neat to see it in a sport fury because a lot of times the CDs, they're like the Savoy, yeah, two-door sedan, right, right. all super lightweight. Yeah. So it's really unusual to see the deluxe high-end car yeah, exactly. with when, this setup. Yeah, man. When I was at the track, I'd be the only one. They'd all be Savoys and Belvedere's. Yeah. Right. And most of them I could beat, believe yeah. it or not. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this thing all, always was fast. But this is my favorite. Yeah. Of course. Naturally, it would be. Yeah, know? yeah. Yeah, yeah. Original owner. Yeah. Get the yeah. real deal right here. Yeah. yeah. Like I say, I don't think I've seen a Sport Fury 426 at any car shows. No. Um, I, I can't think of one, you know. I just, just loving this. Can't get, in, can't get enough of this machine. And they're uh, all kinds of unique yeah. stuff yeah. with these cars. See how the wires go down the side there yeah. instead of most engines that comes down there and everything is all the brake line goes goes way around like that and to miss the headers and yeah. the, the wiring harness everything everything is different on these cars. Yes, a lot of a lot of special features yeah. Yeah, the, 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 everything, cool. everything is different yeah. the engine part. most people wouldn't even notice that so um You've had it for this long. You're gonna. I heard you're gonna sell it to somebody really yeah, soon. Yeah, probably somebody with a microphone in their hand. <laughs> yeah. I may give it to them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, somebody who really appreciates it. Yeah. That's what it's all about, right? <laughs> yes. 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 Well, well, Greg, thanks so much for sharing yeah. this uh, with us well, today. Thank you. It's a really, a really a treat to look at it, and uh, thanks for preserving a piece of history for all of us yeah, to enjoy, and for taking it out here and showing everybody. Yeah, yeah I drive the thing. You know, most yeah. people say, "Oh my God, it's so valuable." I said, "What the heck?" I said that. You yeah. Know, uh, well, nowadays people spend over 100 grand for a pickup truck, so you know, right. why not right. drive it and enjoy it? Yeah. Well, that's the way I feel about it. If yeah. something happens, I'll fix it. You right. Know? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right, well, that's that's our little tour of this incredible 426 Max Wedge 63 Plymouth Sport Fury in the garage. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.